What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna be talking about diffusion. The reason why I wanted to do this is because when I first got into film, I was really overwhelmed with diffusion. There's a lot of them. Today, I've got a six by six frame and I've got 11 different diffusions to show you. They all have different characteristics, different strengths, different, they just, they do, they interact with light differently. And I, you know, I've never actually done this myself. So, I thought I would be, you know, this would be helpful for me, but while I'm doing this, I wanted to show you so that you could bypass that, uh, you know, that hurdle to have to test them out yourself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here's how we're gonna be doing this. So like I said, this is a six by six frame and I've got 11 different diffusions. So I'm gonna set up uh, two aperture 600 Ds and that is gonna be my control. I'm gonna have them at 100% and I'm gonna sit them pretty far back. I'm gonna sit them way back over there. We're gonna just switch them out and I want you to be able to see what each one is doing in terms of diffusion, softening the light, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I'm about six feet away from the diffusion and then behind that, the light is maybe 10 to 12 feet. So 16 to 18 feet from the original source to my face. And then, yeah, like I said, six feet, about six feet, the diffusion is from me. And we're doing a six by six diffusion, six by six frame. So that's a pretty soft source relatively. And I'm filling up that frame, which is super important. You wanna have that entire frame filled, that entire frame filled. And we're doing a full silk. So I'm not gonna go into like super detail with every single one of these because that would take a super long time. So I'm just gonna show each one of these, just have, just kind of move my face around and we're just gonna keep that constant the entire time. Uh, yeah, so we're starting with silk, let's do this. This is quarter silk, one fourth silk, and it is really, really thin. This is just if you wanna take the edge off of a hard light and you're only getting a half stop of light loss. So it's thin, it's really, really thin. Next up we have, it's called unbleached muslin, and that's M-U-S-L-I-N. Unbleached muslin. Unbleached muslin is super thick. It is has a really like bag, like it's just a really thick texture to it. And that's what makes it really nice and soft. Unbleached muslin has five stops of lost light. And because it's unbleached, you're gonna get a warmer tone out of your light. Even if it's daylight, it's gonna come out a little bit warmer. All right, next I wanted to show you bleached muslin. So this is the difference between bleached muslin and unbleached muslin. Bleached muslin is still that thick cloth, but it has been bleached and so it is white and it might, it's gonna shift your color a little bit, but not as much as unbleached muslin. Next up, we are moving on to grids. So this is called a silent half grid. And the reason why it's, there's, there's two reasons. So silent, there's regular grid, and then there's silent grid. And silent grid is just a material that allows it to be quieter when it's in windy conditions. Don't know the science behind that, don't ask me, but it's just, it's quieter, so that's super nice. And then grid refers to within the fabric, there's actually kind of like grid stitching into the fabric. And that's supposed to help, at least from my experience and from what I understand about it, it's supposed to help direct the light. It's kind of like if you've ever seen an egg crate on a light, it focuses that light a little bit more, it doesn't spill as much. So with silent half grid, you're gonna be getting two stops of light loss. This is silent full grid. Full grid is two and a half stops of light loss, really thick, really nice. I mean, look at just how soft this light is on my face and you're still getting that grid material. So it's keeping that light directed onto the face, onto your talent or location, whatever it is. Silent full grid, really nice piece of diffusion. This is silent quarter grid and you're gonna get a half stop of light loss with this. This is also super thin. I'm a really big fan of grid cloth and quarter grid is really nice for outdoor. You just, again, you wanna take the edge off the sun, but you still want it to look like sunlight because whenever you get into like half or full, it just becomes so dark that 
it doesn't look like sunlight, sunlight anymore and it looks more like shade. And so quarter grid, really nice for outdoor sunlight. You just wanna take the edge off. This one is a big favorite of mine, and it is a really big favorite of a lot of DPs. This is Magic Cloth. You're gonna get two and a half stops of light with this, but it is a really, really thick piece of diffusion that, I mean, I don't see a hot spot on it at all. You're gonna get a nice spread of light across the entire thing, really soft light, just, it's just beautiful. You are, like I said, you're losing two and a half stops of light. So you're needing to push a lot of light through it in order to maintain whatever exposure it is that you want. But it is absolutely gorgeous material. This is a piece of diffusion that I actually have never used before. So this is really fun for me. So this is half soft frost. And this feels and looks just like a shower curtain. It has the exact same look, feel, it smells like a shower curtain, truthfully. Like it has that, that, it's just that. With half soft frost, you're gonna get a stop and a half of light loss, but you're gonna get a spread of light, but you're still getting a very hard spot in the middle that is bloomed out. All right, so this one is maybe what you'd think of a shower curtain, a little bit more like a thick piece of a shower curtain, one that you can't like see through. Uh, and this is two and a half stops of light. Has the same material, same texture and everything. You're gonna get a nice bloom. You're still getting, I'm still seeing a hot spot in the middle. So that is full soft frost. All right, this is the last diffusion of the 11. We freaking made it. So before I get into that real quick, I just wanted to give a shout out to Hollyland. This is not sponsored by them or anything like that. They've just sent me stuff to try out and they said, you know, here you go. They've been an amazing company to just work with and talk to. The, the people there are absolutely incredible. They sent me the Lark M2s and hopefully this sounds good. This is the first thing that I've shot with the M2s. So but there's the Pyro 7 and the Pyro S, just an amazing wireless video transmitter system. Just wanted to give a shout out to them, awesome people. So this is called Highlight. And this, I, I know I said that the other two felt like shower curtains. This one feels like a shower curtain, but like a freaking tarp. It is thick in, in a weird sense, but it's not there. It's only a stop and a third of light loss, a stop and a third, not that much. Uh, I would say now looking at it from the other two, the soft frost is, is like that, but it's got us. It's, I think the reason why it's called a frost is a soft frost is because it has a frost over it. This really feels like a, just like a piece of plastic and you're going to get soft, light from it but you've still got a really hard spot in the middle so you're gonna get that hardness with a little bit of softness to it um yeah i you know i don't know you know here's and here's one thing to mention i have not used all of these diffusions in real scenarios in actual productions and so i don't know all the situations that you'd use these things so if you have used any of these let me know let me know which ones you've used and in what situations you've used them and why you used them. I'd love to know. And I'm sure everybody else watching this would love to know too. So I'm actually editing right now and I just realized that I didn't say thank you and goodbye for everything. I ran out of there super quick. So thank you, thanks for watching. Hope that video was helpful. If you have any questions about the diffusion, like I said, I know there was a lot that we went through and I didn't dive really deep into each one of them. But if you have a question about them, there's different character and different, you know, there's a lot of different things to those. So if you have questions, let me know. And if you have had an experience with some of these that you would like to share as well, uh, especially the ones that I haven't really used on a set like the soft frost or anything, let me know how you've used them. I'm, I'm actually really curious because I've never used those before. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I got some more videos coming out the rest of this year. I got two more for the end of this month. And then for December, we're gonna be going over how to add character to your lens. And uh, it's gonna be like how to make natural light indoors. So gonna be some good stuff. So like I said, like and subscribe. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you on the next one.